Never give up on God. Keep on fighting. God bless you. Some people may get really, really offended by others who claim to be Christian. They may get so offended that they may say, hey, because of these few people or from what I see, let me condemn <laughs> all the Christians because I am seeing a few bad Christians or something like that. So some people may say that Christians are hypocrites, they are judgmental, they are whatever. Let me say this. When you call yourself a Christian, now some people may believe that you are a Christian when you begin to go to church. That is crazy talk. Myself, I believe that you are a Christian when you follow God's rules and regulations. So if you are not following God's rules and regulations, no matter how many times you go to church, you are not a Christian. Myself, there was a time where I was going to church like twice a week. <laughs> and in the beginning, I was not obeying God. I was not obeying what the Bible is saying. I was doing my own thing. So can I call myself a follower of Jesus Christ back then? Of course not. How can I? Or how could I? I was not following his rules. Now, I wanted to learn more of God back then, but I still wanted to do my own thing. So how can you call me a Christian back then? I was not. Just because you grew up in a Christian family does not make you a Christian. Let me get back on point. So some people may get offended or may have gotten offended by someone who claimed to be Christian. It is not hard to spot out a real Christian. Now, as you can see here, in these scriptures here, I have highlighted the attributes that a Christian is going to have. So love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance. And as you can see here, in verse 23, I have highlighted meekness. True servants of God, <laughs> they are going to be so humble. That is, in my opinion, that is going to be one of the main attributes a real Christian is going to have. They are going to be humble. So if you see someone that is not humble, and they say that they are a Christian, something is wrong. Let me say this too, and I am going to get back to my point again. <laughs> I believe God places us through so many hardships to make us humble. As myself, I had to endure so much mess because I was so arrogant, 
prideful, conceited, foolish, dumb, silly. <laughs> and God had to allow me to go through so much pain and sorrow to humble me. Either I could continue being in that way and fight through the people that was treating me wrongly or accept what is going on with me and pray to God and humble myself. So since I did not want to continue on sinning, I had only one option, is to humble myself and take it and pray and ask God <laughs> to take it all away. Humility. So you may have gotten offended by someone who claimed to be Christian. Anyone can claim anything. I can say that I am a super rich person, but is it true? As you already know, so many people lie. So if I am not displaying these attributes here, I am not a servant of God. And also, you have to take in an, in an account that misunderstandings are going to happen. So if you see someone that have these attributes, but you have gotten offended by them, perhaps what you are going through is a misunderstanding. Perhaps something within yourself is wrong. Even as Christians, as true servants of God, we are constantly growing. If you ever see a Christian that says that they are done growing, <laughs> that person may be in pride, which they aren't a true Christian. Everyone should be growing. You are never done growing, never. Even if you get to age 180, you are still growing in God. You are still growing. I believe too, and I may be wrong about this, I believe even when you get into heaven, there is so much about God that you can live in heaven and still be growing more in God. I believe that, and I can be wrong. I can be wrong about that, but I believe that. So while you are on this earth, of course, you aren't going to be done growing. But you should get to a point where you are not sinning consistently. So you may have decided that you don't want to serve God because you have been offended by someone who claimed to be Christian. For one, as I stated before, a Christian is going to have these attributes. Two, check if there is a misunderstanding. Three, make sure you are emotionally healthy. Sometimes we go through things and we may get so hurt that we are going to see things through our pain, which is wrong. Anytime when you see something through your pain, your perception is going to be off. Because what is going to happen, of course, we don't want to feel pain. Myself, I don't want to feel pain. So you are going to act in a certain way. You are going to do things to try to protect yourself. So you may be extra, not 
so much extra cautious, but extra, I guess you can say harsh. You are going to be extra You are going to judge things in a very unfair way, yes. Because of your pain. Because you don't want to feel that pain anymore or experience that pain anymore. So when you are doing that, your perception is going to be off. Because you are going to be more conscious of not getting hurt again other than looking at things for what they are. You are going to see things. You are going to see things, but you are going to translate it through your pain, <laughs> which is going to be wrong. I pray that makes sense there. So, if you have gotten offended by someone who claimed to be Christian, don't just figure that all Christians are the same. Back in, I forget what year, maybe around 2010, 11, 12, around there. I was talking to this person and um, this person was telling me that when she was younger, she went to church. But I guess some incidents happened there. And because of that, from what she told me, I don't know what extra information she is keeping out. But because of that, she hates God or don't like God or don't believe in God and want to do her own thing. And I am thinking, so because some Christians hurt you or some Christians <laughs> hurt you, you are going to reject God? How crazy is that? There are some people who claimed to be Christian hurt me. But I am not crazy enough to say, hey, let me reject the God because some people <laughs> rejected me. What demons want, they want you to separate, isolate, and stay away from God or people of God. And you can't let that happen. Now for myself, I always have been a person who keeps to myself. But there are times where I get around other people of God as well. Because you need some type of contact of a stable, <laughs> real Christian. I am serious. You need someone to talk to just in case. Listen. As humans, our minds are not always right. Sometimes we can get off track. just because we are humans. We all need correction. Everyone does. So if you stay to yourself and say that, hey, I am not going to be around other Christians because they are judgmental, what you are doing, you are really hurting yourself. Because people can help you but you are afraid to get rejected or hurt again, you stay to yourself. And while I am saying that, <laughs> something just came to my mind about myself. My Lord, that is crazy.
<laughs> uh, teaching and learning. Okay, let me stop here. God bless you. Make sure you share this and subscribe. God bless you.